used to use all the toxic pesticides on the farmland, which ran into the water and eventually poisoned the otters. But luckily neither of that goes on anymore, and they've made such a good comeback. They're in every single county, and will hopefully be on every river in the country very soon. So, good news for otters at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> so very well adapted for living in the water. Um, Tamar in particular likes belly flopping, as you just saw. Um, very streamlined body, and then the rudd-like tail is, well, pretty much solid muscle. And then all four feet are webbed, and they've got two layers of fur. So they've got a really short, thick layer to keep them warm. And then on top they've got the long waterproof oil layer. They never get cold and never get wet. <laughs> and then ears, eyes and nose are all very level on top of their heads. So when they do go swimming, that's the only part of their body that needs to keep happening you too. Um, special valves in their ears and nostrils to stop any dead to water going in. And see through eyelids, tucking that bubble it helps you underwater. Dragonflies, frogs, snakes, anything up to size and fully grown squats they can take down. And um, luckily, not very often, and uh, lucky most otters never would, um, that they are capable. I'm sure you've seen their teeth, and they're a member of the weasel family. So when they bite onto something, they lock their jaw and don't let go. And um, these two a few weeks ago caught their first heron, um, and they ate the whole thing, literally. It's like two wing feathers left. Yeah.